Here's how to clear system data on a Mac. Even though I only have 38 gigabytes of system data, you might be like my friend who uses Adobe After Effects and had hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of gigabytes of system data. How do you get rid of it? What is actually happening? Well, let me show you. It's actually something called a cache file. And according to Google, they are actually temporary storage to improve the user experience that can take up more and more space over time. The point of it is to be able to load things faster for you, but it can just take up a lot of space. So what do you do with it when it's actually taking up a lot of data? First, open Finder on your Mac. Then once you're here, hold the command key, the shift key, and tap the letter G as in Gary. Erase whatever's there and you're going to hold the shift key and then press the tilde in the top left hand corner. It's the key right below the escape. And then do forward slash library and press enter. Once here, we are gonna go all the way down to caches. Now remember, inside cache are the temporary folders and files that are there to help you save loading time the next time you go into the app or the browser. Now here's the thing, you may actually have projects in there that you are no longer accessing. So what you can do, for example, if you go into Adobe, hold command, then tap the letter I, you can see how much storage it's using. For me, 373 megabytes. For you, maybe it's 373 gigabytes. And you can actually delete that because the next time you go in, it'll load the projects that you are currently using now and make it speedier for you next time. Now while I'm in here, I'm actually gonna go in and delete Firefox. Remember, I only just deleted the cache files for Firefox. I can go back into Firefox anytime that I want. Now I can go over to my trash bin at the bottom, right click, hit empty trash, and those files I just deleted are gonna be removed. Now if I go back to my system settings, I can see that my system data has gone down.